Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new save how we are jumping- No, that's just Isaac, sorry. Welcome back to Ultra Mod. anyways. We're gonna play as Y, V, Y to the V to the V to the Y. Um, so I'm gonna unlock these. We've got a golden weapon for every character, a golden weapon- Okay, yeah, that's just not gonna happen, is it? Um, yo-yo gun? Yeah, we'll go with yo-yo gun to start out and we'll just jump into a run here. Um, and see what we can get done. I kind of want to pick up a crown here so we can start with crowns. I was playing with the, um... The Kraken crown in the last episode, and that might be the most fun I've ever had in this mod. It was just hilariously fun. It was so good. I just discovered this absolutely insane synergy that um, I actually went into the uh, Discord and checked. The developer didn't even know it worked. Like, it was something that I've just found that's, like, entirely new. Um, gonna go with Rhino skin here. Um... Apparently, I've heard, I've been told, that Pop Pop is really, really, really good with charge weapons. So we can get the charge modifier plus a charge gun. That'll be a, a pretty fun, a pretty fun little thing for us. I do really like Pop Pop. Ooh, actually, to be fair, I think I want to take the inversion magnet and try and get some inverted flaws. Because that could be quite fun. Where we go. But yeah, I also want to unlock uh, a crown so that we can always start with that crown that uh, you take double damage, we get double rads. I think that that's something I need to be taking the risk on a lot more. I've also been told that I really need to try the hard mode, um, which is like a game mode option. But apparently it has like unique enemies and stuff, so I'm definitely going to give that a go soon. Obviously not this episode, but that is something that I'm down for. That was... I'll be honest, um, the... Uh... The scorpions don't normally just walk at you, so I wasn't really expecting him to do what he just did. But yeah, we can pop pop on occasion if we need to. I'm gonna enter through here, honestly. Just go for it. Don't go down here too often. But I think when I've got a good starting weapon and all that jazz. Oh, that was so stupid. I tried to get out of the way, but I just couldn't. This is a really good weapon for this, actually. It's killing in a single hit. That's what we need to be seeing lovely. And also the fact that it can kill multiple enemies in a single hit is pretty nice too. And you just saw there, it's got the, the way forward and the way back damage. It's not just one source. Get out of here. Alternator, no thank you. We'll carry on down. Um, so the, this is the thing that we need here. Um, burst and charge weapons. And then I think we go for eagle eyes right now. And then, yeah, we hope we find a charge weapon at some point so that we can play around with that and the uh, ability to get some extra DPS out of Pop Pop. I think that'd be quite fun. Thank you for the health there. That's ne very necessary, so I was taking a lot of dumb damage. Get, get, get off my ammo, boy. Get off my ammo. Oh, God, that grenade was a, a good geek, good sir. Quite the yeet in indeed. Cool. Grab all that. Ah, oh, what was that? I didn't even see that gun over there. Um. Yeah, let's let's go with that. That seems good to me. Four times instead of two seems uh, hilariously good to me. I mean, ammo consumption-wise, maybe not the best for us. Oh god, there was an enemy there that I did not prepare for. Slash C. I'm going to try and take out some of the other enemies here, get some ammo and stuff before I deal with the boss, but maybe not always the best idea. That kind of worked out, though. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I had to speak, didn't I? I had to speak. I was like, oh, that kind of worked out really well. Tried to dodge out the way and immediately die. But yeah, I'd very much like, um, I'd very much like Throne Butt again. That would be quite nice. But yeah, what I do want is a bolt. I think bolt marrow does work with this, so bolt marrow will be quite good. Um, open mind alien's pretty decent, I think. Better chance at getting a good weapon. Better chance at getting that burst weapon potentially. Need to step back, my guy. That was kind of close. But. God damn, I'm playing so bad right now. I'm playing very aggressively, and I need to chill out a little bit, I think. There's inversion magnet again. I will grab that always. I should just, like, break that on purpose to get inversion magnet a bit more often, to be honest. I don't really, and 
obviously inversion magnet's really good, so. Nice. Yeah, this thing is a really, really good early game weapon, to be honest. That's a really cool visual, though. Is that new? I think it is. I did not actually mean to go through here straight away, but there you go. Yes, indeed it does hurt a little bit here. Not enough ammo. We should hopefully get an inverted portal here. I know inversion magnet doesn't guarantee it, but it does make it more likely. There you go. We've got a splinter gun in there as well, I think. Um, ooh. We're going to go with open mind again, honestly. Splinter gun. Nah, the yo-yo gun's definitely going to be better, right? Is it electric that's down here? I can't, I can't remember what the uh, inverted version of this area, like, what the main hazards are down here. Oh, it's toxic. Okay. I knew there was, like, another main hazard, like a new main hazard down here, but... What, what's going on with these little, little chests here? To oh, is it toxic-based chests? Kind of interesting. Toxic. There's a lot of toxic going on right now. A lot of toxic. I mean, I'll take it, but don't exactly need it. Right, grab a crown, as I said. Um, let's grab, let's grab that. Even higher chance of inverted portals, inverted magnet, and the higher chance, like go full inverted run. Just careful of the toxic. We should be fine. Like, I do not like this situation, though. Oh, God. Especially don't like the boss coming in this early. My God. The boss in this stage is so difficult. Holy fuck, man. There's too much. Obsidian throwing knife. We get explosive on there as well. Toxic and explosive on there. Explosive's very, very nice. Okay. Keep it going. Health has been a bit tough here. A uh, tough shell would probably be a good idea right now, so let's take that. And then throwing butt, yes, please. I've not really been using throwing butt this run that much yet, but I will. I do have to remember we have toxic on our weapons, so we are still producing toxic. Even if unintentional. Dude, whenever I get health, I swear there's an enemy just sitting on top of it. Chill out, my guys. Okay, there's some health. Nice. Okay, we're all good on HP here. Not so good on ammo, though. Let's so get in there and grab that. Looking for a weapon to sort of change out here, but so far nothing yet. And then just you left. Oh, come on. And I say, should be able to magnetize towards him. Right, cool through here. Um, Yeah, I think I'll grab this as well. And then we'll go with Splinter. Cool. Right, come on, Ammo. You know you want to come to us. I forget this stage has got some new traps in it now with the uh, little fire spewers. It's pretty cool. Quite dangerous. Oh, hello. That's all of the chests. Dude, those, those bleep big blob dudes have way too much HP, man. Come on, you've got to be nearly dead, my guy. I've run out of ammo now. Okay, cool. Got that back. Um, yeah, let's just keep going here. I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on right now. Oh, my lord. How am I still alive? I've been hit by so much. Gotta remember that those shots do a ton of damage. Those big beefy shots. Anything else on this floor for me to see? 
Splinter pistol. Mm, probably not as good, actually. Right, it was level 7 already, though. Nice. Um, let's go with the alien test in here. The alien test is quite good. Now, this is going to be tricky here. Especially when I've got no ammo. God damn it. Once again, foiled by no ammo. I'm going to have to just get in there. Yeah, this is bad. This is real bad. Yeah, <laughs> there, was, there was no way, man. Right, so I should be able to now select a crown, right? Uh, whoa. Oh, cool. There's like new visuals for those. Crown, there you go. Um, let's go with the crossbow this time. El Clasico. And then, what do we want to go for here? It's this one, isn't it? Take double damage, increase the value. I, I don't know if it doubles the value, but increase value is rather nice. Taking double damage obviously can be a bit sketch. You do have got to kind of play a little different. Not a lot. Just, just enough to make sure you're actually staying alive. Because <laughs> you can't be running into enemies taking stupid hits. But look at the amount of extra rads we're getting, though. It is beautiful. We've got a cursed weapon on the first floor. That's, that's pretty rare. Oh, bolt marrow off the bat with crossbow. Very, very nice. Lovely. I didn't mean to go straight through there, but what's done is done. Um, let's go with that again. Okay, didn't need to actually be down here. That's good. I'm try and stay away from those. Oh my god. I, this thing with Herming is just... Early on, it's just so good with Bolt Marrow. It's, it's magical. Got that out of the way. Oh, well, that was easy. Fair enough. And then we got Throne Butt as well. We'll take that too. Alien Testing Throne Butt on top of it is very, very nice. Look at that. Oh my lord. Rad's out the wazoo, baby. Rad's out the wazoo. And our ammo's full up as well. Nice. Um, I think we go with Trigger Fingers with this thing. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Big Kraken gun. Hell yes, I'll take that. Beautiful stuff. Yes, very, very nice. Yeah, using Pop Pop with trigger fingers there on the boss was amazing. <laughs> Just absolute domination. Uh, we'll go with this for some extra HP. We've got Kraken stuff going on as well here. Very nice. Honestly, the, the, the Kraken weapons can be so goddamn strong, so I'm glad to have them. Help us out with some of these more annoying enemies, especially when it does that and, like, focuses every bit of the uh, tentacle on one enemy. Sometimes it spreads apart, doesn't do as much damage, but if it, if it, if it does, like, a hyper-focus on one enemy, it just annihilates. Okay. We ready for the boss this time? Um, Puffy Cheeks, maybe? Be kind of careful here. I'm playing it a little risky right now. <sighs> Man, I had to say it, didn't I? I, I? I'm forgetting I'm taking double damage. That's what it is. Yeah, take, taking double damage does make things a lot harder in the uh, in the later floors. I've got to be very aware of that. And I'm just kind of... I, I said I need to play different, and I just didn't. <laughs> I just straight up didn't. I need to be taking, uh, what's it called as well? The one that reduces damage by one with this. Because that, that's very useful on double damage. Waste of ammo killing these maggots, unfortunately. Hey, at least got level two here. Right. I'm going to go with Power Craving early this time around. Just to see if we can get something better and uh, get some weapon mods going that could be pretty saucy. 
telepath is not really a great weapon for us though. And do this as well. I, I quite like going here to be honest. Lovely. I mean that extra level that extra bit of rads for the level is really nice. Yeah, tough shell. Really, really, really good for um if we're doing double damage at the moment. Now what isn't really good for double damage is walking directly into enemies. Probably shouldn't do that. And then this is th th this could be the death of us pretty easily here. Um Absorbing Pause is really good for that extra healing. Is it always toxic down here? I got toxic again. I kind of don't want to take it with double damage on, to be honest. <sighs> These guys firing, like, flamethrower shots at me is, uh, pretty sketchy. Dude, toxic revolver as well. Maybe it is just only toxic stuff down here. Alright, let's try and keep it, keep it classy. We'll take this. Blood rifle. Blood weapon's pretty good for making sure we don't, uh... You know what, I'll crack that open. Making sure we don't take too much damage from shots. Reload speed, I think. I, I can't remember what radiation does. Is radiation just making things drop more? I don't know. Okay. Careful of that. I like that heal, though. That heal was very useful. Okay, boss is in. Boss is actually. I'm. I mean. In my opinion, that is horse shit. <laughs> that is so fucking stupid. That. <laughs> right, let's go with Crown again and uh, and try something different this time. Um. I don't know why you'd want this. What's the deal with this? Um, da -da 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 -da. We'll go with that as well. Try that out. Apparently there's a game mode you can unlock for dual crowns, having multiple crowns on. I think that could be pretty interesting to make some, uh, make some spicy stuff happen. I want to try that out. We need ways to gain more HP here, so let's go with Alkaline Saliva here. Lovely rads there, thank you. And we've got Toxic Revolver. Toxic Revolver just won't leave me alone, man. It's always there. Just in the corner of my eye, watching me. Waiting for its time to potentially shine. First weapon there. More HP is good. Right, kill the guys that fire explosives first. That seems like a a good call. And the guys that can shoot through walls as well, maybe. Cool. Don't think I opened any chests to that floor. Please, explosive guys, bugger off. Ah, that chest I didn't technically open because it was a mimic. But alkaline saliva saved me from taking any damage from it, so kind of all worked out. Okay, let's let's focus on the boss a bit more this time because last time I I left it and it caused me issues. Dude, can you stop? Chill out a little bit, dude. There you go. Boss isn't actually that bad. Bomb launcher. What does bomb launcher do that's different to a grenade launcher? Okay, it's like a crosshatch bomb. Oh, it's sticky as well, which is actually not good. Because I imagine enemies walking into me and uh, causing some issues there. Machine gun, pop gun, splinter yo-yo. We'll take the splinter yo-yo for now. We'll hope for bolt marrow as well along the way. Um, open mind seems interesting with this. Then we did get bolt marrow. Good. 
Luckily, these guys are going to have a hard time hitting me here because uh, because of the alleyway being small. Actually, it takes quite a lot of bullets to kill these guys, to be honest. These guys are big puppies. I may just get all those rads. Getting a lot of mimic chests at the moment. Kind of weird. Splinter gun. We're leveling up pretty quick here, throwing but once again, but I don't think we're gonna go for that right now. Um Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that out. Right, these guys have like this insane range, remember, so. Oh fuck me, I didn't see you. My god, these guys are ninjas. Literally. Oh fucking hell. Calm down. Oh my lord, the monkey boys are just destroying me right now. I don't have enough HP to open my goddamn chests. I think they'll kill me. I don't know, can they kill me? Maybe not. Nope, they can kill you. Also, um, chests include the rad containers, which I didn't quite know. Uh, so, it's kind of interesting. I keep accidentally going back to the menu. It's not my intention. Um, resources fading are worth more. More health chests. Uncursing overheals one. Interesting. Purple drop rads is kind of interesting. I don't really know what to go for here. Every area is dark, enemies can hit each other. I've never tried this before. Like, I don't, obviously early game, I, I don't expect it to be great. But late game, enemies being able to hit each other sounds like it could be pretty pertinent, to be honest. I wonder if they can contact damage each other as well, if it's just shooting each other. If it's contacting each other, uh, contact damage each other too, that'd be pretty wild, but it doesn't look like it is. Doesn't look like it is. Alright, cool. Yeah, I kind of... This, this could be interesting, because... The dark areas really doesn't bother me all that much, to be honest. Doesn't make that much of a difference. In some cases it will, but for the most part it's not that bad. Inversion magnet there as well, nice. We'll grab that. Again, try to go for more inverted areas, it's always fun. Will I get in there? There you go, beautiful. Yeah, in the late game I think them being able to hurt each other could be interesting. Um. Hypersomnia could be interesting. I don't really take Hypersomnia that often. It's, it's one of those items that's not that good, again, in the early game. But in the late game, when it makes Purple spawn asleep and stuff, that's real nice. But its main benefit of, like, the early game not, not really shooting at you is only good on loops, really, when there's a ton of enemies and you have, like, a gun that can do a lot of damage. Because it, it gives you that breathing space to be able to fire off that big gun if it's, like, a charge weapon or something. I mean, it is nice for situations like this, too, to just be able to kill, like, a good amount of the enemies before they're able to, uh, start reacting. We did get an inverted room here. Oh, one of those rats just did not die. He decided he was too good for death. Right, through we go. Bloodlust, I think, is gonna be good. Lance here could be very nice, but it is a cursed weapon. I don't think I want a cursed weapon right now. Oh god, something hit me there, but wasn't quite sure what. I think it was one of the uh, one of the froggy boys. Oh, having a uh, thingy here. The herming on my bolts is really, really nice. Making this a hell of a lot easier. I mean, a lot of healing from Thingy as well, Bloodlust. Like, a lot and a lot of healing. Got freezing there, is that? Oh, no, sorry. Lightning. Equally as nice, eh, hey, you cheeky bastard. 
Okay, lightning should be pretty nice on this too. Um, second stomach, let's go for. For the uh, extra healing from Bloodlust. And other things. Just hoping that would happen. Yeah, double healing from Bloodlust really nice. Careful, the big gaping mouth boys. I've not found my chest yet, so I'm not going to go through there just yet, but I will. I will. Where are we looking for our chest here? Wait, what? Maybe it already got opened. I didn't see it, though. I didn't lock a golden weapon. Oh, it's there. Golden bazooka. Lovely. Um, Ecstatic Fist for the extra damage, please. Especially considering we should be on uh, max HP a lot. Ooh, sleeping on those guys is, is rather nice. Honestly, the lightning right now is doing such a good job. Quick, quick, quick. Splint is very nice here. I love it when you can get, like, your base weapon and just make it god tier. <laughs> okay, I think we're all, all the way down here now. Shotgun. Not bad, not bad. Could sacrifice some weapon mods here to go to another floor, but I quite like my weapon mods right now. Toxic crossbow. That could be uh, another angle, but the danger of toxic is just a little bit too much for me, I think. Nice. Okay, that was a very, very quick and easy floor. Never really remember what the uh, the thingy cursed version, inverted versions of these floors do. But I do see that um, these guys are apparently good old sleepwalking and do not give a shit that they are asleep. Yeah, I don't remember how much harder this floor is when it's inverted. Ah, there's invisible enemies, so that, that, that definitely makes things trickier. Reload speed's lovely. Hmm. I'm very scared to like walk into a random enemy here. There it is. I knew there'd be an invisible guy there. Um, go with that. We're probably gonna die here, to be honest. Like we've got no HP to work with, and a lot. Yeah, a lot's going on. My God, I think I'm gonna leave the episode here. Good place to end it off. I hope you guys did enjoy that. I do love a bit of good old YV, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.